Where'd you go? It took some doing, but I managed to persuade the window. Who was the boss and avail myself to the interiors? Howie! Howie, you more of a- <laughs> Where'd you come from? Louisiana. Well, originally. I mean, how'd you get in here? I walked through there. It wasn't locked. Why didn't you tell me that before I spent 40 minutes jimming that bedroom window? Oh, shoot, Merle. You always take such pride in your work. I just couldn't bring myself to interrupt you. Thank you, Howie. It's nice to see my artistry is in ways someone such as you. And is this a nice crib or what? It is for a fact. And look at those paintings. Always a sign of respectful lodging in my book. So it's a lot for the owners. I used to be a painter, you know. Now that's a minor tidbit about your background I never knew. A painter, huh? You any good? Shoot. I could do this whole room in three hours. Two coats. Uh-huh. Now, it's best you be about our business and take her leave. Well, what first do you think? You check out here, and I'll see what's available in the bedrooms. Sounds like a plan. But, uh, how come you brought my laundry bag? This is your laundry bag? How come you think there's my shirts and trousers in here? <coughs> <coughs> Whoa! You might decide against washing those and not for burying them instead. Look, just find whatever other marketable merchandise as you can. I'll see where to keep the credit cards and currency. I'll do my best! <sighs> Let's see. If I was a high-priced item, now, where would I reside? <gasps> the potted plants! No! <laughs> but there's mucho dinero in assorted decorative foliage! <laughs> I told you a hundred times! No words! Whatever. Silverware, come out, come out, wherever you are! It's empty. They're all empty. There's nothing in here at all. Ooh. What's this? No kidding! Almost 3,000 square feet with four bedrooms, a study, and a two-car garage. What? Also, inside washer and dryer hookups, and a butler's pantry, a deck with landscaping, and a hot tub! Where are you getting all that architectural data? Well, right here on this flyer. What? Nice of them to give us a floor plan and all. Where do you find this? Right over here. There's a whole flock of them. This house is for sale! Well, it shouldn't stay on the market long. I mean, with all those accoutrements, I mean, a butler's pantry and a hot tub, that's sweet! Did you hear me? The house is for sale. Do you know what that means? Foundation's faulty? No. <laughs> Neighborhood's going down? No. Rats in the attic? It's ain't a game, you Nimrod. It means you just broke into a house where nobody lives. Oh. <laughs> this is the house you cased? Didn't you notice it was empty? Well, no. I just thought that they were real neat. All this work for nothing. A whole evening's planning and execution shot. Well, you know, while we're still out and everything, we can, uh, we can do my laundry. No, honey, this is the last one for tonight. I'm just as tired as you are. Don't turn on me. This was your idea. You wanted my house too. Don't blame me. I'm not blaming anybody. I. Hello. <laughs> uh, who are you? Oh, hon, use your head. They're the real estate people. Yep, that's us. We're from the real estate thing. Oh uh, yeah, just about to do our our laundry. They said it was on us. You remember? Hello. So. Looking to buy a house, are you? Let's get out of here, and now! Jeff, just talk amongst yourself for a moment. I'll be right with you. Uh, this looks big enough. Mmm, crop molding, that's a nice touch. Look, we need to make out this so nothing <coughs> is miss. What for? Else they get suspicious and call the local fuzz. They can scrap us right down to our birthmarks, you know? Oh, I am stricken! I didn't think of that. You amaze me at times. Just so we're on the same page. Now, you go run back and bring the car around. I'll stop so piece of Yoko to get back. I'm your man! Now, where were we? Well, I gave your company most of the information over the phone. I'm Conrad Spears, and this is my wife, Glenda. Um, hi, does the furniture come with the house? 
Uh, I was here when we got here. Hmm, you don't think people were still living here. <laughs> Only if you didn't know any better. And we know better now. Say, what's the tax base in this neighborhood? Tax base? And is that before or after Homestead? And what do the utilities run on an average? Uh, I'm just going to go check our home base to make sure I can answer you with a more alacrity. You don't sound like you're too familiar with this house. Yeah. Uh, well, the thing is, I just got here. That is to say, I was just assigned to this particular property. What can you tell us about it? Uh, this house. This house is almost uh, 3,000 square feet with uh, four bedrooms, two car garage, and a study. A study? It also has inside wash and dryer hookups, a bulbers pantry, and a hot tub. Wow, this would suit us all right, all three of us. Your mother is not moving in with us. Hun, it's only fair. She's been living with us for the last two years, and now she's looking to move in herself. Don't, don't make a scene in front of the real estate agent. Um, perhaps you'd like to see the bedrooms now? Huh? A little privacy? Yes, we would! Can't live with them, can't live without them. I wouldn't know. I just got here. <laughs> now, if Howie will just get you with the car, I got here as soon as I could. And you are? Courtney Park Bay, Worldwide Realty. And you are? Uh, Conrad Spears, my car. <laughs> so, how do you like the house? Uh, just got here myself. It's so honey. And your husband? Where? I mean, does he like the house? So, uh, where is well, he anyway? The house isn't really for us, see? <laughs> but you just got here, you said so yourself. And doing our best to leave. But it's got everything you wanted and more. But it certainly comes well stocked with passers by. About the size of That's just it. We're looking for something, uh, bigger. Bigger? So you see, this one won't do it all. I do apologize for getting you out here at such an hour. Now, now, now. Don't let that bother you. What do you find out about me is that I will not take no for an answer. <laughs> no? <laughs> no. And if you you want, I have just the house for you. It's over on the next block. How? Next block? <sighs> Sounds perfect. We'll meet you there. Just go down to the corner, turn north on your right. That's out of state. It's the fourth house on the left. <laughs> Sounds perfect. I haven't told you about it yet. You haven't? <laughs> no. So I'm supposed to take no for an answer, but you don't? What? You go over and we'll meet you there. Probably just to call this house, though. Eventually, we're going to have to tell you about it. Tell me what about it? It's just not alleged, but we have to be honest about these things. Things you up a lot, doesn't it? In this case, yes, it does. See, everyone around here thinks it's haunted. Huh? The house. It's haunted? That's what they say, but we don't believe in that sort of thing. Anyway, I'll be at 1142 Avenue. <laughs> I'll get the husband and we'll be right there. I'll leave the porch lights on. Ta -ta. I didn't think she'd ever leave. Haunted, huh? I'm sure there's a rational explanation, and he, I think we got your name. Oh, it's, uh, 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 Courtney! <laughs> Courtney Parfait! Um, I'm sure. Your name is Courtney? I know. I didn't wear bangs until I was 12. Who screamed? I did. It was because of your assistant. Why was he climbing through a window? He was? I mean, he was! We have to be very thorough with these things, and he was inspecting the, uh, Windows? No. The walls? No. Security system. That's it. Say, you are a true buyer, aren't you? Well, he scared me is what he did. I am so sorry. <gasps> oh! Screamed! Pass that, okay? Maybe you are! That scared me! <sighs> She's fine now, don't worry. I am not fine. Why do you speak for me before you speak to me? Huh? Please don't make a scene in front of the real estate people. Courtney Parfait is a very busy man, I'm sure, and they're taking up a lot of their time. Well, that's their job now, isn't it? I know, but... Oh, well, let them do his job and let's look over the house. Just what I was about to say. Uh, but I said it first. Fine. You know, you always come up with some great names. Not now. Maybe see the rest of the house, unless you're assistant. What is his name, anyway? He's, oh, uh, he's... Uh, Percival Lodge Shortcake. <laughs> Shortcake? It's an old family's name. Where do you think they got the name for the dessert in the first place? Oh, I see. It goes back for years. 
to an old grandfather. And if they ever catch him, he'll go back for years as well. Um, sir, I did notice the bedrooms are a bit small. Um, can we look over at another house? Luca, you got us here. I know, but Mother needs a lot of room. How about Wyoming? You know, she may be right about that. I just have to know of another house over in the next block, 1142 Oh, is it open? Can we see it? There's a light burning on the porch as we speak. In fact, I'll call ahead and have one of our other agents there to meet you. You sure it's not too much trouble? I won't raise a finger. Okay, let's go have a look, see? Just, Linda. As, just as well. You probably wouldn't like this house that much anyway. Why not? Wow. The rumor around the neighborhood is it's haunted. Haunted? What did I say? Here we go. That's wonderful. I heard that you know you real estate people divulging, you know, that sort of information. But I've never thought I'd actually see one. Linda, we don't have time to go into all of that. Uh, is it one? Or is it uh, several entities? People keep showing up here all the time. Now, if we hurry, we can go see that other house before we have to close up for tonight. Glenda, did you hear the man? And then we can meet you there in our car. Uh, I need to tell you about that. Uh, Merle, oh, I'm oh, sorry, uh, uh, Courtney, Courtney. I know Mother would love to hear about this house. I'm not going through this again. Let's go. Won't you ever listen? I'm starting the car right now. And we'll be right there. Let's go round back. Just a second. <laughs> Not a moment to lose it, Mrs. Spears. It's a sumptuous house. Won't be on the market long. I know you'll just love it. <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't mean to be so emotional. Oh, that's okay. Old movies do it to me. Make you cry? Don't tell anybody. Okay. Well, the thing is, oh, I shouldn't be telling you about this. Oh, now, now. I'm just trying to help. Okay. The thing is, I'm going to have a baby! What? <laughs> My doctor just told me today. A little baby? Yeah, and he's going to tell him what the doctor Did you give her a handkerchief? Oh, yeah. I did. 
Well, I'm fresh out of ideas. <laughs> there he goes, he's always in such a hurry. Sometimes flight is of the essence, Mrs. Spears. I know I've thought about it several times, tonight alone. Oh, am I being a bother? I think it's such a burden. Well, the thing is, we are at your service. Now, what can I tell you about the house? Is it really haunted? Oh, I could tell you stories that will curl your hair. No, maybe I shouldn't. Uh, may I call mother to come over? Uh, oh, she doesn't live far. Um, she lives about a mile away, a bit too close for Conrad's liking. I don't suppose... Thank you very much! <laughs> this is such a sweet thing you're doing. Thank you, shortcake. Um, mother, guess what? We're looking at a house, and it's haunted. Look, well, we're doing a lonely heart bit. Keep in mind, we need to find some transfer. Not until we can get those two lovebirds back together. God, stop reading those romance novels. Hey! A well-rounded man has to have a hobby. Oh, it's not far. I'm one with seven pulse, so you'll see it. Conrad sitting in the car in the driveway. One thing about you that I have never understood is your inability to see the whole picture. The idea here is for us to be a hasty retreat. I understand the retreat part. I just, I just don't see being so hasty. I mean, why are we in such a hurry? The certain authorities not prone to your soft-hearted ways get wise. The last thing we need now is for them to come knocking at our door and find us in some romantic tangle. Yeah, and just when have they ever knocked? Who is it? <laughs> oh, sorry. Um, I'm Officer Milo Larrabee, and I'm here to make an identification. I want to see my lawyer! <laughs> identification? Uh, yeah. Um, get in here! I don't believe this. Uh, mother, I have to go. Conrad just got arrested. Come here as soon as you can. Were you talking to your mother again? Yes, and don't make such a big deal about that, too. Uh, do you know this man? Do I know this man? Of course I know this man. He's the one who's always in a hurry. I'm not always in a hurry. Can we go? I rest my case. You two are, um, married? Why do we always have to argue in front of strangers? We don't argue in front of strangers. We argue in front of everybody. We don't argue in front of strangers, friends, a policeman, dogs. We don't argue all that much. Uh, yeah. You two are married. Uh, we came here to see this house, and now I want to see this house. I even called mother to come see it. You got your mother coming over here? Uh, yeah. <laughs> you two are married. <laughs> um, yes, sir. Um, we're in the market to buy a house. Uh, Mr. Parfait here is <laughs> showing it to us. Uh, Mr. Parfait? Uh, uh, yes, that's correct, officer. And on behalf of Worldwide Realty, can I just say how uh, happy I am that you are on your toes? One thing we pride ourselves on is our uh, wonderful neighborhood security. Yeah, well, I just happened to be passing by. And took time out of your busy day to make sure there was no criminal nor crime afoot. That's a good man. Uh, you hold houses? We represent properties on our fire and contingency, if that's what you mean. Oh, and how's your drink? Uh, I see, but you made a fire. You know, my mother's been looking to buy a house. Oh, we saw this house first! I don't believe this. Uh, do you have a car? Certainly, I, uh... I must have given you my last card. Here it is. You got your mother coming over here? Thank you. Uh, uh, your first name is Courtney, and unusual first name. And yours is Milo? Well, that's a really funny story, you see. My mother had a lot of cats, okay? And by the time she got to me, she kind of ran out of names. <laughs> Good as an explanation as any. And just why did you call your mother? Why don't you like her? She's always so nice to you. She calls me stupid. Only when you act like that. Besides, you know how much you wanted a genuine haunted house to investigate. Do what? What did you say? Do what? This house, it's haunted. It is! And what are you so worried about? I'm worried about us buying a house and having your mother move in with us. And it's the same thing as what we have now. Do you have any houses that aren't haunted? No. We have a ghost installed in all our properties. Someone to have the sportsmen, someone more closet space. You go with the market. <laughs> Ask a silly question. Uh, if I may interject just a tad. Just how do you investigate a haunted house? You know, I kind of like to know that myself. Oh, you don't want to know. Oh, there 
are many ways to investigate, detect, and in some cases, exercise spirits. And, yeah, and there are many spirits as well. Poltergeist! Full apparitions! Uh, speaking of which, and not that I'm trying to tell you your uh, duties, shouldn't you be out patrolling the area? Um. Yeah, I guess I better, you know. The last thing we want is for someone to file a missing persons report on a missing police officer. <laughs> now, ghost hunting. That sure sounds like something a couple could do together. Right, if it was only a couple. You know, before I forget, I saw a, flower out, a flyer out back about two suspicious characters. Oh, that's very suspicious. Yeah, and I don't really remember much about them right now. But just keep your eyes out for anything on them. If you see anything on, give me a buzz on the horn. You've seen everybody I've seen. Uh-huh. And who's to say what's weird these days, right? Ghost. We're gonna have to move. I have an idea. I haven't had this many eyewitnesses since we fell asleep in that store window. And was that a party or what? Idea? Oh, yeah, look. You work on the husband and I work on the wife. What? Look, we just need to find out what's eating them, and then we can smooth them back together. Maybe they've had too many people butting into their lives. Follow my lead. <laughs> As I was saying, you two have so much in common. You were saying that? We do. Now, now, now. I have an eye for this sort of thing. You cannot fool me. I saw the way Conrad looked at you when you weren't looking. Why? It's as though he were a schoolboy and you were his first crush. Oh, Conrad, did you? Hey, it's news to me, too. In our line of business, we have to read people, if you get what I mean. And you, little lady, uh, me, what about me? Well, you just light up the room when he walks in. You mean I'd like to light up the room? Now, 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 now. What were you telling me right here on this very couch not two minutes ago? Yeah, just what were you telling him? I don't know. <sighs> now, is that any way to be? Just like I was telling, um, uh, what's his name over there? Courtney. Courtney over there. We like to match our houses with our people. And if we didn't think you two belong together, we wouldn't be showing you this lovely property. Well, hon, I would like to buy a house that you'd be happy with. You would. I just wish we could, you know, work together instead of... Instead of always fighting. Oh, we don't always fight. Really, we don't. <laughs> oh, no, I guess we don't. That is so sweet! Oh, my God! I love the I swear, I don't know why we argue. Okay, now let's trot out them ghosts! Oh, now I remember. Conrad! Now what? Another complication, I fear. I got here as soon as I could. Now let's see what type of a spirit we're dealing with. Oh, don't feel rude at her. She looks like a zombie looking for a piano. Conrad, can you stop complaining, please? <laughs> yes! Yes, I can feel something. There is definitely a presence in the room. Bro, <laughs> do, do you see? I see her, I see her. Sounds like she's a good ass. <laughs> ah, who are you? Oh, uh, mother, this is uh, Mr. Parfait and Mr. Truly. They're the realtors. Really? Sounds more like dessert. Well, you are what you eat. <laughs> really? I had rump roast for lunch. There you are. <laughs> Will you stop? So you two know about this house? The history? The hauntings? Yes, and that's just the ancients. Can we please leave here and let this poor man go on about their business? I just knew you'd take that attitude, Comrade Spears. A skeptical mind is not conducive to the paranormal. Now I need to feel the other rooms. Uh, don't you mean see the other rooms? <laughs> My good man. Woman? Man? <laughs> the eyes are the easiest of the five senses to fool. Many entities present themselves, not to these, but perhaps in other ways to our sense of touch and to our sense of smell. Uh, well, I think I stepped on something on the way here. Oh. 
Oh, oh, oh. Quaint. <laughs> Madame Zenobia will be able to find what we're looking for when she gets here. What? Who? Madame Zenobia. She's the leading authority on the paranormal, well, in the tri-county area. I called her to join us here. She's coming over here, too. Remember when this place was empty. Oh, how I cherish those carefree moments. First, we need to find the heart of the house. The what? Where the spirits are most active. I'll need to see the other rooms. Uh, have you been in the other rooms yet? Um, yes, Mama. They're here. Now, don't any of you come in here, no matter what you hear. Can't have you disturbing my paranormal connection. Well, maybe you ought to get cable. You see what I'm up against? And you live with her? I thought it would just be for a little while, you know, until I got on my feet. And now you're up and running, and the mother-in-law is running with you? Exactly. <laughs> Get that boy, Percival. Oh, uh, right. Um, uh, uh, Courtney, Courtney. Oops, that's me. Oh, hello, Courtney. Hello. Who wants to know? I do. I'm Courtney Parfait. Well, what are the odds? Uh oh. Uh, excuse me a moment, will you? I beg your pardon? What? No, I'm not at home. Well, isn't that always the way, though? You never hear a name, and then it's everywhere! I'm so sorry we haven't come yet. You won't believe what her name is. Shut up! I'm just coming to find you! As I can see, who's he? Pick a name! Conrad, what's going on here? Huh? I can explain it all to you, but I may get a headache. No, right now? Well, then you'll have to come over here. Wait! You're Conrad? Yes. Just as I was telling you when we first got here, remember? I think I'm losing my place. Who's he? He's, uh, well, he's the reason we're still here. It's his. Oh, oh, it's his car. Uh, I mean, our car. <laughs> a, a car. Their car. These two were having some car troubles and they stopped here for help. He's on the phone with his auto club right now. What's this address again? 117 Pulse. Thank you. 117 Pulse. All right, see you. That worked out nicely. Now let's make sure you spend the directions. Will you finally be leaving here soon? Oh, you don't know how much I want to leave here. Um, Courtney? Yes? Ah! <laughs> uh, you know, I'll get these two underway and uh, you run along now. You promise, remember, I don't say no for an answer! Really? What do you take it for? You run along and we'll go see that house. <laughs> Something I can do for you? Well, I just got a call from my assistant, and she has some important papers in to see right away, so I told her to come here. She's coming here too? Mm, it does seem to be getting crowded, doesn't it? Shame we aren't pickpockets. <laughs> yeah. Uh, one thing, Conrad? Yes? Uh, Courtney, 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 Courtney. Yes? I think she means me. I thought she said Conrad. Have I told you about the acoustics in here? No. We'll talk. Of course, you won't be able to hear me. <laughs> yes? <laughs> No, but I'm sure it'll show up. Everyone else has. Their name's Maldonado. They were supposed to be here. <laughs> they all sort of swarmed when we arrived. Well, have them call me if you see them. Yes, yes. I lost that at house on uh, 1142 Avenue. <laughs> Just like your father used to. 
Well, Dad did go through a lot, you know, before he lost his mind. He, uh, lost his mind? And these are the people you want to help? Well, he didn't lose his mind. We just sort of had to commit him. Sort of. He thought he was a vacuum cleaner. Well, it could have worse, yeah? We're gonna have to smell his breath. Well, now he's in a rest home. I still say he's pretending. Wonder why. Now who's knocking? I'm pretending I didn't hear any knocking. Uh, are there any other rooms? Oh, just the kitchen. Oh, and the dungeons. Don't forget the dungeon, where they tortured hundreds of people by dragging them out at night and showing them houses. Talk like she should have made steam. Yes? Who is it? The FBI? Come on, let's now. She threw stuff on me. You are now protected, my son. What is this stuff? Like, like fairy dust? Madam Zenobia, I'm so glad you're here. I... Wow, can you come over to our house and do that? <laughs> Don't tell me anything. Don't say a word. I will tell you! This is great. This is great. You'll love this. She can tell us everything because she's in contact with the spirits of the house. They talk to her! Well, I forgot to get this stuff off my shirt. It always comes back to laundry, doesn't it? Yes! It is active in here. Much confusion. Much deceit. You! There is more about you than we know. Then you are not. Telling us! Well, my hobbies include skydiving and fossil hunting. And if you see my late uncle Carl, tell him he still owes me 15 bucks. No, not that. You and he! <gasps> you do not enter houses as we do. Something off here. You climb through windows. Uh oh! Wow, she's right. What do you mean? They did climb through the bedroom window. Something about checking the house alarms. Could be. That could be, but there is more here. There is distress, dismay, agony. Well, that's me. Connor, take a pill. <laughs> this house, this house is a meeting place, a gathering place. Oh, there is much activity here. We do draw a crowd. Then this room, it is the heart of the house? Yes, and you sense that. You truly have the gift. <laughs> I have the gift. <laughs> but wait, Lillian, you're not the only one. Oh, don't tell me my socks don't match again. That's what you get for dressing in the dark. We do everything in the dark. Oh, oh, this is amazing. What? Am I it? You, you are also gifted. You are in contact with the spirit world. Him? He can barely make a phone call. Silence! <laughs> now, you do not know this. Well, I haven't checked my messages today. Enough about him. I'm the one with the real talent. Isn't that so? Isn't that what you told me? Huh? Oh, yes, yes, of course. You are my best student. She pays you, right? What do you think? Go skimmy their MasterCard? What should we do now? Should, should we exercise the spirits? Great. She wants Casper to do deep knee bends. Oh, uh, what was that? It goes! It bends! It cries out! We must do something. We must help it. I had better look in there before I decide on our next plan of action. You! Window climber! In the flash! Apparently, one of the few here who can say that. Is this the kitchen? Well, why don't you ask a spirit? And if you can't say anything nice, don't say anything at all. Why well, doesn't matter what I say? They're dead, aren't they? <laughs> yeah, but we don't want to hurt their feelings. Let's just say they're post alive. Sounds like a mailbox of spoons. <laughs> <laughs> what? He said that. Um, well, you can stop your uh, investigation. Maybe we should go check out the uh, other houses. What? I'm sure they wouldn't mind us leaving. No, but, but, but no! You mustn't leave, huh? No, your leaving is no good. The loss of Honora could disturb the spiritual realm. We have been contacted. And it is because of those who are here now that the deceased has chosen to reveal itself. <gasps> couldn't we leave our auras here, come back for 
to them later. <laughs> Besides, it is not you that is called. It is your colleague. Me? <coughs> and her. And her. Well, I doubt very much my aura will be missed. Uh, Conrad, no one. Hi, look, I would like to buy a house. Our house, just for you and me. Well, was that directed at me? Can't you see we need some time alone? So that was directed. Don't have to be a mind to get that. <laughs> but it helps. <laughs> so sweet. <laughs> we can talk about this later. No, we need to talk about this now. And this is the things I get? Can we go? <gasps> no, where are you going? We need to grab those and hastily. But those two! Do you really think there's anything we can do for them? And I gave you a roof over your head, like the good mother I am. And this is the things I get? Lillian, I do appreciate it, but it's time we begin our own lives. You mean start a family? Hang on! Now that's another conversation. Let's just do one thing at a time. Okay, but hurry. What? Don't you see? It is not you that's saying this. It is the evil spirits in this house. They are talking through you. Well, I'm used to it. These two usually talk through me. It's like I'm not there. Oh, how wonderful that must feel. <laughs> Now who? Excuse me, is Conrad Spears here? Oh jeez, I forgot all about her. You called her to come here? No, she's psychic. Really? Does she have a medium? Where's my card? Conrad, I have these contracts for you right here. Uh, will her aura upset the spirits? Hey, what's one more aura among friends? Yellow. Have you ever thought about the afterlife? All the time. We sell insurance. <laughs> <laughs> Why did you call her to come here? Well, I figured I might as well get some business done. Mr. Lawson wants this right away. Okay. Just do it quietly so it won't disturb us. What are you doing? I'm trying to contract another Georgia plane. Really? How often did they take off? You have all your names on your clothes. Don't you? Well, let's go into the kitchen where we can work. No! Not in there! Uh, I haven't investigated it yet! Uh, well, fine, we'll find somewhere else then. Brittany? Come here, Conrad! I don't like her. I could tell that from here. You can tell that all the way from Hong Kong! You do have the power. I think it is time we talked. But Adam Zenobia, you, my child, you are ready. I knew it! Ready for what? To solo! You get to investigate the kitchen. I get my own room? And you, you must go with her. Why? But you said I could solo and... So and what if you go into a trance? Who will be there to hear what you say? Spirits don't chew their spinach twice, you know? Uh, well, that's true. I do need to look over the kitchen, you know? See if it's big enough. Good! You look for cabinet space, and you look for ectoplasm. I better get a jar! And now, you two! What is the meaning of this? Well, you could have KO'd me with an ostrich bender when he walked in here. Ain't it a hoot? Clara, you look wonderful. Isn't this a gap? Where'd Surprised you... to see you guys as well, I might add. Where'd you come up with this Madame Zenobia gig? Hey, you think anyone's gonna investigate the spiritual world with a name like Clara Boyle? <laughs> and all the flip plan work? Hey, remember what our patron say P.T. Barnum said? There's one born every minute, and every blessed one of them is willing to pay for a little contact with the great beyond. A little moan, a little shut and I'm rolling in the happy cabbage. Now, what's your scam? We're a couple of second story types such as yourselves doing here, and don't give me that real estate jive. That's the oldest con in the book. Well, I'm afraid this is all my doing. We came in to rob the place, but it's for sale. The fact which became apparent to us a bit too late. Yeah, but Marla, Clara here can help us. How and how much? Forget the how, just answer the much. Oh, it's that young couple. They're in love, but they don't see how much. That's the how much. And you do. Hey, the spiritual stuff is my gig. And that's where you can help us. 
just go through some of your patented hocus pocus stuff and focus on Glenda and Conrad. I get the cue. Oh, these spirits have come here for one thing, that which they lack, that they have lost and cannot retrieve. And it is strong here, and that emotion is love. Something like that. Oh, that's perfect. Uh, but there's something I have to tell you about. The cops have already been here. Not that. The police? Something about some suspicious characters they're looking for? Hey, I'm already hiding from certain boys in blue. Sorry, boys, all bets are off. What? We are blowing this crib as of now. Great. And just when I wanted to do something nice for a change. Let's well, off the straight cat, okay? <sighs> Don't you just love this age we live in? Watch. <laughs> Go in the kitchen. 
Janelle. Just go listen to the door and tell us what you hear. Stop honking that horn, Mom! Come on inside. They have food. But I thought this room was the heart of the house. Certainly, but that might be the brain. Yeah, but uh, wouldn't that be the stomach? Hey, man, you're on my turf. I stand corrected. Go! Of course! Tom, we'll be through here in a minute. What do I care? Don't know if you love this, but he looks like he's upset. Say, you are paying attention. Thank you! Look, what are we gonna do now? We can't leave. Not right now, anyway. No, but that hullabaloo going on outside. Mother? Mother! Roll down the window! Just ain't gonna change in that hall. Look at it. I'll do the best I can. That's what I'm afraid of. Huh? Just do it. No, 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 don't touch that! I said come on inside! Right! Let's just sit tight. As long as Sherlock Holmes is here with us, the other cops won't come to this house. Han, I'm so sorry about all this. You know how Mr. Lumsden is. Well... Look, I would like to buy a house. Our house that you'd be happy with. You would? I can hear you! Listen to the door! Sorry! Well, I guess I was too anxious, and you know, they say you never buy the first house you look at. That's right, they do. Let's leave. We can see this house another time. What? You want to leave? <laughs> what? We're going home. This is obviously not the house for us. No, us. no, no! You can't leave now. Why not? What the are you yelling at me? Is that <laughs> what I want to do? We have company! I was trying to tell you. Where'd you get that? I cook and cook cook for you, and here you go out and snack? Well, they offered! Don't you want to raise children? What are you doing? <laughs> Listening to the kitchen. Uh-huh. You can all go have a conversation with the living room. You still have your gun? Oh! Oh! I can feel them now! Here we go again. What's she coming down with? She's in contact with the spirits of this house. She's a medium. Her? A medium? In her dreams. Brittany, we're going back to our house. What? <coughs> I'm not through figuring out this bedding yet. Wait, she's coming over to our house? Huh, oh, Mr. Lumsden. Mr. Lumsden, Mr. Lumsden, that's all I ever hear. <laughs> How should I know? I'm not a tour guide. Don't you use that tone with me, young man. Yes, ma'am. Nobody can leave now. Madame Zenobi is about to make an announcement. How can you tell? I am about to make an announcement. <laughs> See, I have the power. <laughs> we will all contact the spirits. The time has come to hold an exorcism. Yes! That's good. That's good. If you like it. Well, you can hold it without us. We're leaving. Oh, no, we're not. What now? I, if your secretary is coming on with us, we might as well stay. I give up. Say, this is a nice house. Yeah, and it's up for sale. It is? Uh-huh, and that guy over there, he's a real estate agent. Mr. Parfait? Uh, my mother's interested in seeing the house. She wants to see this house. The cop's mother wants to see this house. I've been probably breaking into a house before, but I've never had probably breaking out of one. You say, you're awfully nice to your mother. Yeah, well, she threatens me a lot. Are you just as nice to your wife? I'm not married. No, he's not. <laughs> now that's interesting. This is so bad! Ugh. What are we gonna do now? Okay, I need everyone to stand over uh, here! Do I have to move? No, that's okay. We need a dummy. Ah, my bridge! Okay. Come on, come on, let's go! Over here, you two. This looks like it might be fun! I don't know. Oh, come on! You two can sit together, and you know an exorcism is a great excuse to to hold hands! I've got to burn those romance novels of his. What you look at this table? It looks like the BTA had a meeting! <laughs> and a 
and you can send that to me. Um, maybe I ought to call the station house first. Why? They never call you. Does this place have comments? What do you say? Fine with me. Huh? Shh. Would somebody do something with all these sandwiches? Oh boy. Clean up on aisle one. Oh, um, uh, audit. I need everyone to sit around the table and hold hands. All deal. I mean, I'll come dog the exorcism. Hey, that's mine. Oh, sorry. Um, you misspelled insurance. Again? You went to IICS, didn't you? <laughs> Not going to that right now. You know, mother is actually looking to move. She lives with me right now. <laughs> Wrong again, stupid. You live with me right now. Ah, oh, that's so sweet. Wait, there's not enough chairs here. Okay, wait. I see. I see everybody moving over uh, there. I don't believe this. Wait, there's not enough chairs over here either. Then we'll stand. It'll be like a spiritual buffet. Can some of us sit? No. Sure. Right, let an old lady stand, why don't you? Oh, uh, wait a minute, Mom. Here, she can have my seat. I'm watching you. Sounds like the policeman has an admirer. Wait till I get through with them. They're a little low. You sure that's a good idea? Always a good idea to keep a cop dizzy. I'll stand here. We're thrilled. What are we doing anyway? We're exercising spirits. How do you exercise while sitting down? Not exercising, exorcising. <sighs> Sorry, I never learned how to spell. It's not that long and he's getting something out of your house. I sure want to learn how to do that. Where do you want us? Where do you want to be? How about Denver? Stand over there. Howdy, be ready to take over if I nod to you. And do what? You really want to help out that couple. You get to be the one the spirit invades. Yes! I'll do the best I can. Just don't overdo it. Oh! Oh! <laughs> I won't. Don't start a fire like last time. Now how was I supposed to know that that was a fireworks factory? Don't worry, I'll be subtle. Now, I want everyone to just relax. Clear your minds. Think of nothing. I'll try. <laughs> nice. Now, I shall endeavor to contact the tortured spirits. Oh, spirit, spirit from the other world, speak to us. Make yourself known. Eeny, meeny, chilly, beeny, the spirits are about to speak. Oh, stop. <sighs> oh, angry spirit, let us help you. Speak to us. Make yourself known. Now! Oh, um, ah, ah, it's got me! It's got me! Subtle, he said. Oh, I can feel it! It's taking over my entire body! It's... Ah! I had a cat that used to act like that once. Mom, you had 17 cats. Sooner or later, one of them is bound to go off. Uh, hello? Can you hear me? Am I speaking to the angry spirit? Can you hear me? Talk louder! Yeah, it may be long distance. Let's <laughs> be nice, remember? Oh! 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 Speak! Speak, I say! Oh, yes! I am a tortured soul! 
doomed, doomed to wander aimlessly. Rise! Rise up! This is so frightful. I'm sure glad I have someone like you to protect me. Yeah, but who do I have? Quiet. Am I speaking to the spirit of the heart? You are! Not. And yet, you have made yourself known to us. I've come here for one thing, that one thing which I can no longer have in the afterlife. And pray, tell, what is this one thing? This one thing is love. Love? <laughs> love. Oh, um, ah, that is the one thing that has made me act this way. Sure it's not hairball? Mom! That's what it was with the cat. Oh. He's coming over here! Oh, I can feel so much love in here tonight. And how I miss it so. And from what source do you feel this love? Here! Why, I think it means us. You? Oh, can we get a second opinion on that? You two, you have drawn me out. Huh? Huh? Your love for each other, you have that for which we all yearn. Wait a minute here. You are life itself. You are romance. You are passion and compassion. You are love and in love. I think this has gone on far Do you deny it? Well, no. That you love this woman deeply. Of course I do. You do. Honey, you know I do. Well, it's awfully nice to hear, though. And that is the real power. Yes, it is. But! But! Did he say but? Oh, I sure hope not. There's an obstacle that stands in the path of true love. Oh, someone stands between you! Ah! This is coming for me! The spook is coming for me! What? Mom, I don't think. Keep it away. Keep it. Make it. Oh. What is the matter with the woman? It's the hiccups! She gets them whenever she's excited! I'm so sorry, Angel. Me too. It's just all this stuff about Joseph's spirits I don't buy. But, hon, you don't know everything. No, but this is a lot of fooey. And here we go again! No! Mom, oh, take it easy! I'm trying to... Can't can you do something? I mean to put a bag over her head. She'll breathe into it, and the hiccups will stop. There must be one over here! Well, you can't leave just well enough alone. You don't seriously believe in all this, do you? I have an open mind. This is the last time I take on assistance. Oh, this is the worst. Somebody find a bag! Oh, get one! Don't start arguing again. Uh, you think I started this? Oh, listen to the spirits from the afterlife and recognize that the law. They do start the argument. No, she never starts the argument. She's like me. Look, that you alone possess the law. Oh, now you go right in on mother. Oh, so now you agree that we both start the argument. That you can get through life with all the trials and tribulations and. Oh, I don't think that they're listening. You get that, did you? Don't you see how hopeless it all is? You can't argue with people who argue. And just what does that mean? This is all hopeless. I didn't say anything about who started the argument. I said we were arguing. But it takes two to have an argument. You didn't say it was hopeless. You said that we shouldn't try. Same thing. Not trying is the same as hopeless? Hi. The heck is you still? Shut up! Hey, don't tell her to shut up. Of course, take her side. You always take her side. I don't always take her side. And why you don't fire her, I don't know. Oh, I know. Oh, you do? I have the power. What say we get this thing off her? But what if she's not hiccuping again? Look, put it back. Look, at least I tried. Yes, you did, and look what it did. And if I hadn't tried, it would have turned out just the same. Aha! Uh -huh. uh -huh. What is that supposed to mean? It means that we wouldn't have known if I hadn't tried. <laughs> Think of yourself a broad you about. Hello? Can you hear me? Oh, oh my heavens. I can't believe we came here to look at the house, and this is how it turned out. You sound surprised. Yes, I didn't know then your mother was going to show up. And so what if I did? This is going nowhere. I agree. For what? Are you 
okay? Can you hear me? Yes, but it was so weird. First the darkness came over me, and then I saw this bright light at the end of this long tunnel. It's just that I was trying to tell you and them that if they love each other, they can get through anything. Yeah, well, it doesn't look like you succeeded. But, but they have to make up. Why? For the sake of the baby. <gasps> what? What do you mean for the sake of the baby? You don't think that Glenda is... Glenda? You're not actually... Are you? You are? You are? Wow! You do have the power! You mean... I'm going to be a father? I mean, one of us has to be. And you're gonna be... This is wonderful! <laughs> you're going to be a mother? That means I'm going to be a... Uh, a grandma! A grandma. <laughs> Over! I see, I see a stranger who will, uh, who will bring us tidings. Woo. Woo. That's good. That's just big enough to mean anything. No, I'm so dumb. You need to get off your feet. Oh, I'm fine, I'm really. This is the best news I've had in a long time. Oh, he says that all the time. He said that once when I told him I was moved to a different department. You are? But she is. Mr. Lumsden's idea. You gotta tell us or not. Uh, I see. I see you giving your partner much more respect in the future. Now he's patting his part. Uh huh. Oh, well, I hope you're happy in your new post, Miss Marie. Um, huh? That's not really her last name. It isn't. Now, how did you know that? I guess this clairvoyant stuff is catching. But what is her real name? Well, since I'm no longer working for your husband, I figured I might tell you. It's Lumsden. I'm Mr. Lumsden's only daughter! Oh. Oh. <laughs> I don't know if you say that, but if I tell him that. I mean, it explains a lot. Oh, she just means that we can now see the resemblance. You really think the bag will help? Not sure. Look, it smells like someone left a tuna salad sandwich in an old tire in an alley three days after it rained. Now, how would she know that? <laughs> Oh, I got tired of her, so I thought I had better. Oh. What's going on here? You wouldn't believe it. She got the hiccups and passed out. She's been telling fortunes, and they are going to have a baby. But I was only gone for 20 minutes. Oh, you see, that's why I want to buy a bigger house. I see, I see, but why didn't you tell me earlier? I mean, I wanted to wait for just the right moment. So you chose a haunted house in the middle of an exorcism? Hey! I'm the one that told you! Yes, and I'm the one to admit when I'm wrong. You are? Well, it's about time you came around. Mom! You got a... I'm fine now, Milo. Oh, then I won't be needing this. And the cops are here? He was gonna put a bag in her head. Why would they arrest an old lady? No, he was really gonna put a bag in her head. Wow, you leave the room, you pay the price. Mom, if, if you're feeling better, I need you to do something. What? Go out to the car and call for backup. Here? Yeah. Give him, give him this address and tell him I authorize him. Backup? Okay. Go. What's the pain? Okay, now don't nobody leave. What? What's going I on? I said nobody move. Tell the future, can't you? I see a stranger bring us tidings. Now looky here what I just found. Now I think I can use that bag. And just give a listen. <laughs>
not even buying this house. Oh, but hun, we're still thinking about that. Of course, hun, whatever you say. <laughs> How sweet. <laughs> Officer, I can vouch for that. Conrad didn't want anything to do with this. Oh? Then who did use that cassette player? <laughs> well, I was the first one to contact the spirit. You? She did! Aha! Uh -huh. So you're the one who used that cassette player? I don't know what you mean! After all, I wasn't even here! She called me to come here! Aha! Uh -huh. So you called her to come here? Well, uh, I guess that's right, but I didn't hear any moanings until after she got here! Aha! Uh -huh. So you- That's not true! They heard the moanings before I got here! Aha! Uh -huh. What do you have to say to that? I don't know, I- Wait a minute here. If she wasn't here, how did she know that we had already heard the moaning? Uh-huh. Wait a minute. You're wearing a whole carpet. Let's start at the beginning. Who first said the house was haunted? Oh, uh, they didn't, the realtors. Didn't see that coming, did you? I think I'm beginning to see what's going on here. Now, if only I'd get a call from the station house. What? What did they say? Something about the cop the two they were looking for. They did? Yeah, caught them on counterfeiting and several other things. They wanted to know how you knew this was their house. Oh, you mean the people who used to live here? Uh-oh. I think they had an accomplice. And that ties it all in. They set up a haunted house to keep people away. I think I can make my rest now. <laughs> Corny parfait! <laughs> okay, you got me. <laughs> what? You? When I saw all those police guards, I figured I dug in here. But yet this, I gave them cover. I didn't have anything to do with that counter. That's victory. what they all say. Okay, kiddo. You have the right?
Thank you.